All right, hey guys, it is Chris here again with another video, and in this video today, we're going to be talking about the three-year transformation of the former Walmart store at the Westfield Sunrise Mall in Massapequa, New York. So to understand where we are today with this former store, let's go back a little bit to the 1970s. So Westfield Sunrise opened up in 1973 with four anchor stores, which included Macy's, J.C. Penney, which is now closed, Gertz, and E.J. Corvette which stood for Eight Jewish Korean War Veterans, a very interesting name for a discount department store uh, back in the day. E.J. Corvette lasted at the mall from 1973 to 1979 when the company went bankrupt and closed all their locations. So in the 1980s, another company called Abraham and Strauss, which is, which is short, for that, short for that is A&S, uh, took over this former store and was there on, for about 15 years and in 1995, uh, ANS merged with Macy's, which resulted in a, another company called Stearns to take over the former Anchor Store. Um, Stearns was actually at the mall at the time; it was in the Se it was in where Sears is. But Stearns eventually moved uh, from where Gertz was into the former uh, ANS because of the whole it's, it was a whole thing. Uh, Stearns moved into the wall uh, the the former. ANS and Sears came to the mall in 1995 as well, along with uh, Stearns moving into that former store. So Stearns was there from 1995 until about 2001 when the company filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy and eventually merged with Macy's. So a lot of the Stearns stores either became Macy's or in Bloomingdale's like two in New Jersey, which include the Willowbrook Mall in Wayne, New Jersey, and the Bridgewater Commons in Bridgewater, New Jersey. So... Getting back to what I was saying. So in 2003, Walmart came in to Westfield Sunrise, signed a lease, and they came in and they built and they renovated the former Stern store to make it a two-level, and their only two-level, Long Island location. They had a similar two-level location located in White Plains, but that closed earlier this year. Also, that's a video for another time. So Walmart was there from 2003 to 2015 when Walmart announced that it was not renewing their lease with Westfield so that Walmart could go ahead and focus on their uh, grocery departments in their stores, and they obviously could not put a grocery store uh, in, a, in that Walmart. It was just way too small for them to put a grocery store. So as a result, uh, Walmart exited uh, the lease of Westfield Sunrise to focus on other stores. So the big question that everybody had was what was going to happen with this former Walmart space, and especially with the changing retail climate, although it wasn't as bad as it was now. But still, 2015, you know, your, your mall starts to get kind of concerned about what's going to be the next anchor spot uh, in that mall. So, what Westfield came up with, and it took it took a while for Westfield to come up with this, was Dick Sporting Goods um, announced that it was coming to two Westfield malls, which included the Westfield South Shore Mall and the Westfield Sunrise Mall. So, the Westfield Sunrise location, uh, Dick's would get the lease on the first level of the former Walmart store. So that would that problem was solved, but that was only 50% of the problem of there not being a store there. So then the next question was, well, what's going to be on the upper level? So, uh, Westfield's uh, two other tenants signed on for the upper level, um, and the upper level was split in half, um, with, with uh, Dave and Buster's being on the right, which opened up first, and then just recently in 2019, uh, Ray Moore and Flanagan Outlet opened up on the left side, second floor of the former Walmart store. So you have Dick's Sporting Goods on the first floor, and you have uh, Ray Moore and Flanagan Furniture Outlet and Dave and Buster's on the second floor via both of them having entrances on the first floor and through the second floor of the shopping of the shopping mall. So, basically, this this was a very interesting uh, history of this building. Um, you know, from it to go to a discount department store, to go to it from a regular department store, another regular department store, back to a discount department store, and finally to be split up into three different non-department store uh, facilities. A furniture store, an arcade, and a sporting goods store. So quite a history with this anchor spot at Westfield Sunrise. It's been through quite um, a big, big history. Uh, just really quite a big history. So anyways, guys, that's about going to do it for this video. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. That's it. One more thing I got forgot to add, guys. Uh, the Dave & Buster's elevator is a ThyssenKrupp Cigna 4, and the elevator at the Raymore & Flanagan Furniture Outlet is a Schindler 3300 MRL that was installed a couple of years ago. So the elevators went from two hospital size Schindler uh, 300A MT vandal resistant fixtures to now it being a Schindler 3300 MRL and a ThyssenKrupp Signa 4 in the Dave & Busters. So 
it went from two Schindlers to now just a single Schindler and a ThyssenKrupp. So that's how it is. So anyways, guys, thank you again for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed this video about the history and transformation of the former Walmart store at the Westfield Sunrise Mall in Massapequa, New York. So thank you guys so much for watching this video, and that is it.